In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Cloud account. And then you can upload your courses to that, use them for your portfolio, and you can make your courses public. So we're going to go through the basics of this. I'm no by no means a Google Cloud expert, so uh, you can do use the internet, uh, Google for example, and you can do a search and find out more about uh, security permissions and those things. But I'll show you the basics to help you get started. First thing you'll need to do is you're going to have to set up an account. I already have one set up. Um, a couple things you do get uh, a free account. It's you get a $300 credit for the first um, 12 months or so. I believe you get a five gigabyte. A monthly limit, so I don't think you would be charged. And odds are you're not going to use more than five gigabytes uh, for your courses. But even if you do, the cost of storage is so cheap that I'd be surprised if you spend more than a couple dollars a year. If you if you had hundreds of courses um, loaded on there, so what you'd want to do is uh, go through the process. I'm just going to do the basics of this first, so I don't want any spam um, or emails. I'm going to agree. Go ahead and agree uh, to the terms and conditions. And then uh, you'd go through the process of uh, filling out all this information here. Um, you do need to provide a credit card number, but you won't be billed if you're not using anything. So uh, that's just more of a security a precaution to make sure you're not a spammer and all of that stuff. But uh, you can go ahead and set all that stuff up. And uh, once you're set up, you'll have an account. I'm going to go ahead and switch over uh, to my account. Okay, and so once you've got your account set up, just go ahead and scroll down to storage. Uh, we're going to click on storage. Uh, you can go to cloud storage. And you can learn more about all of this on your own. Uh, but basically the it's going to be console.cloud.google.com slash storage and then you'll be inside of there. Now when you start uh, this you'll need a bucket. And the buckets are going to be basically a folder so it's where you're going to put everything. So you want to create a bucket. Uh, you do want to create something that's unique because it's shared, you know, it's it's universal to the entire server or, or however that's identified. So I'm just going to um, come up with something e learning test. All right. So now we got a bucket name. I'm going to go ahead and create this. And so the bucket here is where you're going to put everything. Now this is all going to be public, so we're going to make the bucket public when we get to that point. Uh, but as you can see, you can upload files and folders. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for my example. So I might this might be my e-learning examples or my portfolio folder. So I'm going to create that. So now I've got an examples folder in here. Now what I do want to do is I want to come back up to the buckets here. And you can see that um, if I scroll all the way over here on the buckets, there are little dots here. I'm going to open that up. And I can set my bucket permissions. In this case, I want this bucket to be uh, visible to the public because I'm just putting courses and those things on there. Uh, so I'm going to edit the bucket permissions. Uh, you can go down um, at the object level and as you start to add things in, you can change the permissions and share those things publicly, but we're just going to do it universally. So we're going to come back up to the bucket and we're going to edit the permissions. Now um, with the permissions here, uh, if you click on this, it'll show you all the different options. We actually want all users, so I start typing in all and you can see all users show up. So I have all users and I want to select a role. In this case, I only want them to be able to view objects, so storage object viewer. So that's the role. So all users will have that role. I'm going to add that. And again, there's probably a lot more you can learn about uh, the permissions and all that stuff for these buckets, but um, you can use Google to, to learn that. So now we can see that um, that's available to us um, to let people see our courses. So we're going to come over here. Look at my examples folder, and I can upload files or folders to share. I'm going to go ahead and upload a Rise course I built. So I'm going to upload that. I've got a folder here, um, this content folder, and I'm going to click that folder. And so you'll see down here the folders being uploaded, uh, everything with that. And uh, once it's done here, it should be pretty quick. Uh, once it's uploaded, I can now share my course. So they're all finished. And now you'll notice that when I click inside the content folder, 
that um, here's my index file. Now these are all the files and everything I uploaded. So if I click on this, this is just going to give me access to the file. What I want to do is make it public. So if I scroll all the way over here, you'll see where it's shared publicly. And here's a public link. So when I click on that, that'll actually give me a link and I can now uh, view my course. So I can share that course with my users and then they can watch uh, the course. So if we come back to our bucket here, you can see now that that's public. Um, now um, that's the basics of it. So let's create the account. Um, Again, the storage is very nominal and in terms of its fee, I believe Google gives you five gigabytes for free each month. Uh, so odds are you will never need to pay anything. And if you do have to pay something, you're probably just talking about you know, a couple dollars a year. So, so nothing major. Uh, but it's a great way to manage and save your courses. Um, the other thing you can do is you can use a product like um, the Cloudberry Explorer has a free uh, utility to be able to um, move files uh, up to uh, Google uh, to the storage here. But this uploading the folder is pretty quick. So I would just bookmark this page and then um, you just you know log in and upload your content. Hope that helps.